There are many jobs in the government that pay $300 a day, but some people, they don't know about it or they don't want to apply. Before we get into it, let's recognize that one third of this country earns $15 an hour or less. That's a pretty big chunk. And if you take that number and you multiply it by eight, you only get $120 a day. And that's before taxes takes their chunk out of your paycheck. So that amount might be okay if you're in high school or if you're in college, a student, right? But if you're not a student, then $120 a day is not gonna cut it. Okay, so let's do some quick math and find out what it takes to get $300 a day. $300 times five days equals $1,500 a week. And $1,500 a week times 52 weeks equals $78,000 a year. So if you wanna earn $300 a day, you need a salary of 78,000 a year. That's all you need, 78K. So how do we get there? Well, let's look in the government and see what grade matches up with 78K a year. Let's take a look at the pay chart and see for that salary, we can tell that you would need to be a GS-12 step one. So how likely is it for you to get a GS-12? How many opportunities are there for you? Well, if you look right now, there's over 5,000 GS-12 positions. The real question is, what do you wanna do? What type of job would you like to have? because there's dozens of jobs in the government, such as IT specialist, human resource specialist, or a training specialist. It doesn't matter what the job title is because all the salaries are the same for GS-12. It goes from 78,000 a year and it moves up to $103,000 a year. And the good news is we're using the RUS pay scale, which stands for the rest of the United States. It's the default generic pay scale. If you happen to live in or around a big city, your pay could be a lot more than this. There are actually 50 different pay charts that the government uses to determine salary. Let's take Washington, D.C. for an example. Here, to earn $78,000 a year, you would only need to be a GS-11 Step 2. Now, the cost of living in D.C. and the area around it is crazy. It's crazy high. But in this area, the headquarters to almost every single federal agency exists here. The contractors, the contracting jobs, they exist here. So there are a lot of opportunities if you come to this area. Now in the federal government, GS is a pay grade and it's usually referred to as white collar jobs. On the opposite end of the spectrum, we have the blue collar jobs, which usually fall under the federal wage system and they are identified by WG or WL or WS. So WG stands for wage grade. And when you're talking about wage grade, WG, you're talking more about the trades, right? So you could be a plumber, a construction worker, an electrician, those type of individuals. And if you wanna earn $300 a day doing the trades, you could do that too. In the DC area, you would need to be a WG-12 step four. It's also important to understand once you're hired in the federal government, it, you're not locked into any kind of contract. So you, it's not like the military where you have to serve three years. You can come and go as you please. You can show up a couple days later, maybe a week later, you say, hey, this is not for me. You can quit, jump up, go to a different job. Not an issue. No one's going to have a problem with that. So a lot of people, when they think about the government, they think of some long commitment, but that's not the way it really is. But what if $300 a day is not enough? If we bump that number up to $400 a day, you would need to earn about $103,000 a year, which would be roughly a GS-13 type job. And you would find it the same way you would look for the GS-12 or the GS-11. You set up your job search filters on usajobs.gov. You set that up, set your reminder up there. It'll let you know every time that there's a job that meets your parameters, it will email you weekly, daily, monthly, whatever you want. And then you can apply for those positions. And if you want more than $400 a day, you could do that too. You'd be looking at the GS-14, GS-15, or the senior executive roles. But we have salaries that go all the way up to 200,000, even over $200,000 a year. Now keep in mind when we're talking about salaries, we're not even talking about the, the quality step increase, right? We're not talking about your quarterly bonuses that you could qualify for or your annual performance bonuses. A lot of times this could be 3% of your base pay. You could take home two, three, three and a half thousand dollars at the end of the year. Okay, so if you're watching this and you're thinking, maybe it's time to start applying for a government job and you wanna know how to get started, I wanna let you know that there's eight steps eight steps that you need to follow in order to get a government job. And if you wanna know what those are, I want you to watch this video next. If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.